Today's hypnotic trip happens in Arizona at the Grand Canyon, and more specifically, the Kebab Trail on the South Rim. Temps are in the 110s with a little shade. So why am I hiking in the desert in the middle of the summer? Because I haven't done that before. And I really like, I love the element of surprise. I'm fascinated at how my brain adjusts to new surroundings. I find that in that state, I'm more alert and I'm prepared. Whereas going to a place I've been before, I'm not as tuned in. And this trip really threw us off. First, the bus left at 5 a.m. for the trail. Second, we hiked down 2,200 feet and then back up, the opposite of a mountain. Third, it's a hot climate with high altitude. And fourth, just the pure vastness of the canyon. When we reached Skeleton Point, the turnaround spot, which was about three miles out, I overheard some wisdom from a guide that was addressing the group he was leading. Here's what he had to say about how the brain is processing those dramatic views of the canyon. Hello everybody, I'm Michael Witchman, and uh, I've been hiking out here for almost 20 years, and even after all that time, uh, there's no place in our brains to put new experiences like Grand Canyon or even repetitive experiences because this place is so vast and hard to get our head around. Uh, neurologically, our brain tries to compartmentalize new information and new experiences, but this place is so hard to get a handle on that our brain is literally rewiring itself, trying to make a new box to put it in, and it, does, it can't do it. And so that's one reason why time slows down here and it becomes the, like the land that time forgot. Your brain is capable of learning something new, and when you're in a new experience, it's the best time to do so. On my hypnotic trips, the hikers and I are in a state of mind, and I guide them through processing out an old idea and creating a new one, and a new emotional response. While most neuroscientists once believed that implicit memories and avoidance reactions were locked permanently in the brain's pathways, more recent brain research shows that we can not only unlock those neural pathways, but actually erase them and substitute new learning. Further, neurons that encode whether a memory is positive or negative can be reprogrammed to switch the emotional association of any experience. 